Alrighty, I'm recording this after I just finished editing the video you're about to watch. Um, it's long, it's rambly, it's a lot of exactly what I'm doing right now, but I do buy all of these pallets and make some sales and move some tile and sell some furniture and this and that. So I hope you stick <coughs> <coughs> hope you stick around and enjoy it. I'm at the peak of my sickness. It kind of starts in the beginning of the video and now it's like brutal. Um, this video is like over four or five days or something like that. It's currently Saturday night, uh, Sunday morning, like two o'clock, whatever. And, uh, I don't know, whatever. Just enjoy the video. All right. You guys are getting a video today. Um, woo wee. Um, Wednesday and Thursday are the days my employee doesn't work here. So it's Wednesday today. The past few days that since she's been here, she started on, I mean, she came Thursday to check it out. She started Friday, which was the day I got these pallets, four big ones and four small ones. And of that load, there's one big one left. Somebody's coming to see it today, thousand bucks. You might take the whole thing and just load it into bags. I told them 1200 with delivery and she's built all of these by herself. They're amazing. And so there's one full tall pallet at the front and one half of these cheap $250 pallets left here. There is all of these which are filled with stuff, but like this is her kind of workstation. And you saw all the boxes at the front. There's 30 back here. Like she's building them faster than they're selling, which was not something that I could do on my own. I had, I was lucky to build, you know, 12, 15 in a day because of all the people that come in. The only thing I criticize is her taping is not clean, not great, especially when the big doors open at the front. I have to take pictures of all of the boxes together and the tape is just inconsistent and kind of junky. Look at that. As soon as something slides along the top of that box, the tape rolls and it's, it's just not pressed down, but I'm sure she'll get better after a little while. She's built all of these. It took her like an hour to build all of these. It's crazy, but it's also the quality of these pallets is much better. And as far as scores that I got, not a whole lot. That pallet there had seven of these swimming pools at the bottom, 180 bucks on Amazon. So in a month when weather gets better, 100 bucks a piece, I should easily recoup the whole pallet just off of those. These pallets have been good. There is a crap load of footwear. Almost everything you see here is footwear. These are aprons, which I've opened one up. My kid's sister might want them because she, she has like a printing company, but they're really nice. Just hold on. Pretty nice. She can put some kind of design on them. There's a load of them, probably at least, I don't know, a hundred or so. And so the quality of the mystery boxes are way up. I actually didn't take any of that out or the pools until last night I was here with my daughter. The pallet was like almost empty. So a lot of the stuff that's coming in these is going into the boxes. So the quality is really good. Actually, I'll go into my camera roll. I've taken a picture of every single box she's made. So I'll quickly flip through some pictures so you guys can see. but it is killer. Today's supposed to be a good day. Um, that guy's coming. Also the furniture, if you follow my videos, you've seen my little furniture stores that I have up the road, 280 bucks a month for that garage. And it's filled with like ready to assemble that stuff. I have somebody interested in the whole deal. I want to get rid of it, get rid of that 280 a month rental and the furniture so all of this and everything that's in there is uh 1200 bucks i'm offering for it and uh that's kind of at cost i guess so whoever gets it will make a load of money and then i'll also try and broker more of those deals for him in the future um 10 pallets would be 1800 bucks so i'll try and do like maybe 2500 for 10 pallets 
I need to still make a killing off of that. So I'm just gonna make sure my chest cam's all charged up for today. Should be busy. I'm interested to see if Buddy takes the furniture. I'm interested to see if Buddy takes that pallet. I have taken a bunch of stuff off the top of it because I was planning to just make it into mystery boxes, but it's Wednesday and I gotta get another load of this stuff on Friday. So if I could flip that, that would be great. I might like throw one of those in, maybe a couple of those. You know, whatever, just to dress it up. I'll show you what it looks like inside of there right now. Yeah, so you can see it kind of, I mean, it's still, still pretty full and looks not bad off the top, but I don't know if it looks $1,000 cash good. I mean, maybe. It's nice stuff, but I'll throw a couple other things on top. And uh, that's the deal. I got a person on Marketplace that has 200 of uh, this size box, but they're just plain brown. 100 bucks for 200 boxes, that would save me. I mean, it probably for 200 boxes cost me four-ish to buy it from Home Depot. And it says Home Depot all over it. I've got 54 big boxes made. And 17 of the small boxes. In freaking insane, man. I've got boxes for days. Can't wait to get another load. Like, things are really pumping. I'd ideally like to be selling uh, 20 boxes a day because that's about what she can pump out in a three-hour day. So that would give her something to do. Originally, when I thought about bringing an employee in, it was to deal with everything, but I put her on this to get started, and it's just working so well. She's good at what she's doing, so... Might just keep her doing that. She seems to like it, so whatever. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Very well, and how are you? Doing great. It's so hard to talk those people out of it, but they bought 10 square feet of this one, which I have to go to my warehouse tomorrow morning and pick up. Ugh. How you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Pretty good. Checking out Amazon stuff? Yeah, yeah. I actually, just, I'm looking at the whole pallet now. Okay. Is that you I talked to? It is, yeah. Josh? Brad. Brad, okay. Yeah, Joshua, uh, post some ads for me. Yeah. So yeah, he said that this one's untouched, right? Yeah. Okay. And do you know what, like the, like the, are, are they mostly smaller items? It's still kind of open, eh? It is, yeah. I mean, you can kind of stand on that edge of the and pallet jack the there. PK. Yeah. And you guys said you get these kind of every Friday type deal, eh? Yeah. Would you guys do not have it for the whole box right now? And I'll haul her out of here? Uh, I'll, I, I'll have to take two trips. Yeah. Okay. I'll be. Yeah, if that's all right. Um. Uh, yeah, I'd do that. Okay. So I'll probably have, I'll probably get most of it in there. I think like there's nothing in my back seats or anything. So. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Awesome, bro. And uh, so you guys get these every Friday, you said. How many boxes do you guys get on average every Friday? Uh, I usually try and get four of those and four of these smaller ones. Oh, and then I, I make the boxes out of them. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that on your site there too, yeah. And what do you sell the half ones too or no? Um, not really, do to be sell, honest. they're uh, the full pallets usually though? Yeah. You do, eh? And so, and so not all of them. I mean, I sell kind of two or three a week. Okay, yeah, okay. Let's I like say, to use them because the quality in those, like these are sort of hit and miss, which is why I don't sell them. There yeah. might be one that's packed with trash and then the other one might be all brand new oh, stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So like, I'm actually interested in probably picking up like maybe two a month or a few, or maybe even three a month off you guys. Sure. So maybe if you want to work out a deal with me, I, I know what, the, what they are with what, what the price is already. Yeah. So, but I mean, I, I could be like a steady customer of yours, right? And just going you know, honestly, constantly pick up you guys per month. If okay. It kind of works something out with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Under, yeah? Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I, I can uh, help you guys carry one out if you like, or. All right. Sold two of these and sold this thing. Nine hundred bucks. So I originally had it posted for 12 with free delivery. And then I told the guy through message for a thousand bucks, he could take it. And then he talked me down to nine, which is fine because what that does is replace that one and also pays for half of one of these. So it is what it is. I don't mind doing that because, uh, I bit off a lot that I could chew or however you say that I bought four big pallets and four small pallets last Friday. And there's still a lot of product in here. I got today and tomorrow to move this stuff before another shipment comes. So if I want to get a shipment of a similar size, 
like, uh, I mean, this was where I had a pallet and then there, like it fit perfectly to have eight pallets in here. So if I can get rid of this furniture stuff today, hopefully have that moved out by tomorrow, then I'll be able to shift all of this there. And then I'm breaking down this stuff currently. This is crazy. I've got these two massive like Home Depot, the biggest boxes they have, which I managed to, uh, or I guess that's not the extra large, but pretty big. Um, I scavenged those from a cardboard dumpster. Anyways, they're full of slippers and footwear, and so are all of these totes, slippers and footwear, and there's still a bunch more, but the goal is to at least clean this up. I've got a few empty totes, line them all up here. I don't know, I just have to do work, but uh, up over at G-Note and sales because of that palette, really, but uh, here we are. Let's see what we got going on here. Look at that tape. It sticks to the box so well. So all you gotta do is kind of press it down. Like one thing rolls over that the wrong way. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm also currently moving that out of the way. If I can't sell this lot by tomorrow around this time, I'm just gonna move the stuff out. It's gonna be free out front of the shop. Some pretty nice stuff. But, uh... I want to, I mean, it's like 2.30. I got to leave soon to go get my daughter. But uh, yeah, this is kind of where we're at. Clear this area out and have the very back corner be mystery box storage. And then that will, I think with what I've been doing, I've, I fit eight pallets in here and I've got three pallet spaces taken. That one should be gone tomorrow. So two pallet spaces. I won't be able to deal with this or that one by Friday. So I'll get six pallets. I'm thinking two of the big ones and four of the small ones because three and three, it's gonna make it where, or actually if I wanna try and sell another one, yeah, I'll do three and three. So that'll be 1800 plus 7,500, be right around three grand for those pallets. And I'm gonna shoot to get 12 out of one of the big ones up front or just make boxes out of it, who knows, but I've got, uh, ton of stuff still here left over from the eight I got on Friday and it'll still be a lot here by this Friday so eight pallets is just a little bit too much to move in one week having said that I've only sold one pallet as a whole the rest has been broken down and put in the boxes so yada yada blada blada okay I've already kicked off the light I'm just waiting on one more guy to come get mystery boxes and then I'm out of here, so, I don't know, she did stack them six high, which I'm not a fan of, I think that should be the maximum. So there's room for the rest of these there, and then, yeah, in about an hour, I'm going to meet that guy for the furniture, and we'll see how it all goes. Not too shabby, this freaking guy is late, I think he just got here. At least it better be him, otherwise I'm locking up and bouncing. And so it's just a mystery box. You have no idea what's in it, right? It, well, I, maker I'm actually who does looking it. for particulars having to do like with, with like aero gardens or hydroponics or, or... I'm sorry. So we just waiting on this guy or what? Nah. What is he got? I don't know. Okay, the four o'clock furniture guy flaked and uh, someone else is coming at eight. I think 8.30. I don't know, but I'm going to get those 200 boxes for a hundred bucks. Sure. Awesome. Hi. Ceiling here, how high does your... Uh, just level with the top of the car, so no worries. Settle up with you here. There you go. Some cash for you. Oh, super. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank you. Just going straight to BC Children's Hospital. Oh, good. That's nice. So... Perfect, that's great. Awesome. That was easy. Yeah. That was 
All right, that was the uh, best 100 bucks I ever spent. Those 200 boxes are perfect. And uh, home for dinner now. And yeah, it is 8.30, so right at my daughter's bedtime, I gotta go meet some guy for this furniture thing. Hopefully uh, he takes it, but you're coming along. All right, y'all, all right. Yeah, that's quite the angle. Anyways, uh, just waiting on this guy. It's 8.20, should be here in five minutes. Forgot my chest cam at home. Uh, God, what's happening? So I'm getting sick. I can, I'm sniffling and sneezing. My mom offered to take my daughter. So, um, I've got the night to myself. I'm going to meet these people. I'm not sure exactly how or what is going down. If they're just coming to see it, coming to put a deposit, coming with a truck to take it. But either way, I'm in no rush to get home now. Um, we'll see what happens. Did I say I forgot my chest cam? I'm like also very foggy at the moment. Um, all part of that cold coming on. But anyways, um, I've got the crap load of boxes in the car here. Going to head to my store after this. I mean, in a perfect world, these people would show up with a big truck, load everything I have, come with me to my store, and take those, like, six, seven pieces I have at the shop, and then just be totally done with it, give me the cash and bounce. But I'm not, I'm not expecting that. And, uh, yeah, blah, 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 just rambling. I keep having these thoughts pop into my head, and, like, I'm 100% focused on that. And then all of a sudden, like, two seconds later, I'm like, what was I thinking about? <laughs> so, anyways, I pulled up here. Really nice neighborhood that I rent this garage in. The houses are between, like, two and five mil a pop. And I'm just sitting on the side of the road here, hood up, shady. So, uh... Hope these people arrive soon, get a deal done. Um, I wish I had my chest cam because it's dark out. It would have been perfect to just catch some footage, but it is what it is. I'll just have to keep uh, you posted. Look at all those boxes. Still just waiting on these people. All right, I don't know what of that I captured in sound, but uh, the guy said he would think about it and let me know. They want it. I think they're just overwhelmed by the quantity. And uh, yada yada, off to the shop. All right, so I've been in here for like two minutes. Haven't I was just setting up this stupid thing so I could uh, show you guys me unloading these boxes. And buddy messaged me, he's like, yeah, we'll take it. So that's sold. Um, I've got zero cash from the sale, unfortunately. But uh, he's asking when I want him to take it and I'm telling him ASAP, but I can work with him, so. I almost thought about saying that on Friday I'm going to have a five ton in the morning because I have to move a ton of tile and get more Amazon stuff. Um, and I don't have to have it back until Saturday morning at 8 a.m. But uh, we'll see what he comes back with. I don't know if he says like next week or something, then I'll bring it up. Try and get a hundred bucks out of him or something for driving the truck around. But that's exciting. So he's taking all of the stuff in furniture storage and he's taking this stuff here, which is great. I'm going to get those out of the way sometime. More boxes, more boxes, more boxes. Uh, my employee's not coming in tomorrow. She's back Friday, which is when I have to have this all cleaned up to move pallets in. So I got to get to work. I only want to spend like an hour here. Um, and then I've got my three hours tomorrow that I'm here to deal with all of that. It's getting wild in here. for a hundred bucks come on okay another little update on the furniture thing buddy is coming friday after six to pick it up so uh i don't know whatever that's good okay i'm feeling a little better here doesn't look like i got much done but um i have somebody coming 
He said possibly tomorrow, if not Friday. He wants 12 of the big boxes. I was going to give him one of these for 600 bucks. And then I just told him, like, I mean, it's true. Most of the big boxes are filled with premium product. And so $600 worth of these, it's 12 boxes, like two, four, six. I mean, he's getting like, you know, not quite the amount he would get in a, in this palette, but none of the trash. So, okay. Got all the furniture in here. I'm going to bring it to the garage so it's ready to go Friday. Let's do it. Let's do it. Very nice. All right, it's the next day we're in here. So something I just realized about these boxes when I went to stack them up is that the ones that aren't in a bundle are bigger than the ones that are. So these are like 16.75 by 12 point something by 12 point something, whereas these are a solid six by 12 by 12 so these actually come up to 2300 square inches so these are in fact half the size of a big one so i've got 140 of those and then these ones are bigger so i'll save those for later and i wish i would have put those on the bottom before i stacked all this but is what it is um currently tidying up somebody's coming today for uh, i think i mentioned this 12 boxes and all of these black bags of stuff the guy for the big pallet should be here, I mean, any second. And, uh, yeah, I just kicked the door open. Ready to get going here. Um, those, 12 pa those 12 boxes that he's taking is... There's nine in this stack, and then these two, and then plus one from the front. So I'll have this whole space to shift things back even more. Yada yada boom bada. Let's go. I was supposed to close the video off yesterday, but I've sold um, four, five, six, seven boxes independently. And that guy came for his 12 boxes and I gave him all those garbage bags that were here. This is garbage. Those are cell phones. And I don't know if you remember, but there was a whole stack here. I was able to sell that to the guy and then back these pallets in, cut them down. And now I'm still in the process of loading all this cardboard into my car. Buddy also showed up to take the rest of his pallet from the front. So it's now just a pile of cardboard. Freaking good day, up over a Gino in sales. And uh, barely sold any tile. So that was a thousand bucks in sales yesterday on this Amazon stuff and uh, another Thawi today. And it's halfway through the day. Tomorrow's going to be a big one because I'm getting a truck. I've got six more pallets coming, three big, three small. That's what I decided on. And uh, I've also got two truckloads of tile to get. So um, I'll probably make a video for it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I make these videos. Man. It's just it's so stupid. But anyways, that's kind of where we're at. Just going to move some more of these up front. I am going to leave... Um, I'm going to take them from here, but I'm going to leave, not push these back because uh, when she makes more, I want to be able to put them there. But I should be able to fit a bunch up at the front. So that's kind of where I'm at. Just made some coffee, kind of hanging out, a little bit more time here. Only thing I really have to do after work today um, is nothing, actually. So the I don't know if I mentioned it, but the furniture guy got back to me last night. They're taking it. I'm meeting them at 6 o'clock. Uh, at the garage tomorrow after work so tomorrow is a full day -er. um i got my mother-in-law coming in here to open up for my employees so it'll be them until like 3 p.m when i'm done because i'm going to be here with amazon pallets around 10 a.m and then i have to drive for about 40 minutes there and then 40 minutes back twice so several hours and so that'll be that and uh yeah, no. Anyways, just kind of doing my thing. All right, kicking off a new day in here. Um, I'm going to pick up six pallets, and they got to fit. I mean, I need a gap here so Mystery Box Maker can make her boxes. But basically, they're going to be all here. 
And then I've also got room for two more up here. So I don't know exactly the layout of how I'm going to bring them in here, but uh, I've got to load my pallet jack because I also have to do a couple of truckloads of tile today. All right, this thing took me like five minutes to learn how to put it in drive. It's a button right there. But uh, yeah, not a great start to the day. My internet service provider or whatever, my phone, I can't call, I can't, there's no internet. And the company I'm with here in Canada, their slogan is Canada's most reliable network. This is the second time in the past like couple of months where it's a critical day, it's Friday. This should be like a, you know, four figure day. I can't, like I got 30 messages overnight, can't respond to any of them. Like, yeah, it's just brutal. But anyways, on the way to get some tile, then I'll grab the Amazon, then I'll grab the last load of tile, and then I'll be dropping this beast off. God, I think my little chest cam's dead. I left it recording in my pocket, but we need to put these on pallets because my pallet jack won't go under them. It's frustrating, and I gotta go. All right, dropping off the first load. God, this stuff is heavy. 1,500 pounds feels like more like 2,000. Chair rail. I just grabbed those bins. I ended up grabbing four big ones and two small ones. So it cost me 2,900. And uh, that's kind of that. On my way to drop them off and then I gotta grab that last load of tile. My, I didn't get any footage. My camera that I like stick to my chest, it's doing some weird thing where it's like super hot and keeps saying timed out every time I try to connect it. I can't do anything and it's been hot for like an hour when I touch the case it's like so I don't know maybe I'll just let it die and then plug it back in but anyways we were ripping all right drop that stuff off my mother-in-law was there and my employee showed up it's currently I don't know like 12 15 on my way to get the last load of tile shit phone call hey, anyways going to get that tile um, my camera completely died out and I plugged it in here and uh, it seems to be working now, so I don't know what happened there. It got super hot, and then I held it out the window, and it died, and then now it seems all good. So I'll see what kind of footage I can get in this tile spot. Continue on British Columbia uh, 91 North for 11 kilometers. This tile place shares their space with Aritzia, so half their warehouse is, like, massive pallet racking full of Aritzia clothing, like, uh... I don't know what brands Aritzia sells, but it's like the yoga pants type uh, clothing store. I don't know, it's like a weird combination of businesses to be in with the same roof, but anyways, going to grab that, going to drop it off, head to my shop, uh, work out the day, and then at 6 o'clock, I'm going to sell that furniture deal. You know, I recorded a video the day before yesterday and yesterday, but it was like 30 minutes long, so I just kind of wrapped it up. I think I might try and edit that down and then tack this onto it, so it's just like one three-day video. I don't know, we'll see. All Aritzia behind these pallets. Can't see what any of these say. A lot of tile. Pretty nice. It's one of them days now. One of them days. Pretty nice. Nice product. Can't really see into those. That's pretty nice too, all natural stone. I'm just gonna get this thing unloaded and get this truck back. 2165, that's 2,165 pounds. 
1260. Holy crap, I've just been dicking around here. I forgot to, uh, thought I was like trying to make a video today. Ugh, lots of boxes made. This, I just freshened it up. It's fully stacked. A bunch of the smaller boxes that I picked up yesterday got made. There's another six here. And then just wait till you see what's all stacked up in the back corner. Man, this girl can work. Crazy. There's a whole whack load of small boxes there and still a whole crap load back there of the big massive ones and there's some more small ones on top so um what have we gotten into here it's really just been the top of that pallet a little tiny bit out of that pallet you know a good chunk out of that one and this one's completely gone and a lot of what went into these boxes today came out of totes that were here which still seems surprisingly full although we have been taking from here and putting there man some nice stuff in these when i went in there my plan was to grab three small and three big and then i when i got there i was like i want two small and four big and so he asked the girl he's like do we have a fourth one she's like uh and they were like him and ha and then they finally gave me this one and uh i heard her say like it's really full so i don't know if like they knew what was in this one but i mean it's unsorted as far as i know and it seems that way because there's been some gems in here but this one is like the items are small it's a lot of really small items we've taken a bunch out and it's still like super full super heavy so that's good i don't know if i could try how many times i could do that like yeah i'll take two big ones and four small ones and then get there and be like give me six big ones <laughs> but anyways still haven't dealt with these they're for sale. I just use generic pictures that I find online. Because I don't think taking a picture like that looks that great. I don't even really know what's in here. But anyways, this furniture sale is about to go down. So I got to go meet the guy at the garage and load him up. So those guys, uh, they came with a cargo van and an SUV that had a bunch of stuff in it. So they fit like 60% of it in. They're going to Vancouver to drop it off and then they're coming back to get the rest of it but but he paid before he left i don't know if you can see that but it's a nice little chunk of change there 1200 and the furniture's out of my hair i originally bought 13 pallets and spent 180 bucks a pallet and uh, i sold about 40 percent of it i don't know i i used to get 10 pallets at a time and they were 150 bucks a piece and it was 1500 bucks and I would make between eight and 10 grand off the entire load selling it the way that I did. And that's how I sold about 40% of that load. So I don't know, made a few grand and kind of is what it is. Now I've got like basically an empty garage close to my store that cost me 280 bucks a month. I'm gonna either get rid of it or wait till next Friday and see what the space is at my shop. I mean, you saw how much I got in there now. I've got zero space. So I might just use that place for overflow. It's literally 10 minutes from my store. I don't know, but right now I'm going to stop and get the best coffee I've ever had. A 7-Eleven coffee, believe it or not. I forgot I was making a video again. It's kind of the middle of the night. Those guys still haven't hit me back to get the rest of the furniture. Um, got a cell phone bag, garbage bag, buddy bag, I call it, which is just stuff that I just sell for cheap because it's garbage. I'm moving the stuff from here into there and sort of sorting it as I go. So this will be ready for her to pack into boxes. And look at all of these throws. This is a flannel fleece blanket twin. And then the purple one is just a throw. So I mean, that's pretty cool. One listing. I mean, what would these be? Like 10 bucks? And I don't want to do that. Um, but there's still more. And I'm actually seeing... I don't want to lose my glove. Look at that. Egyptian cotton sheet set. And of course it doesn't say the size. Why would it? Queen. That might go on my bed. 800 thread count. Hope there's more of those. These pallets are so good, man. It's just, look at this. 
Feather Pro, Feather Pro. <laughs> like, it's just good stuff after good stuff. I mean, this really doesn't look like it, but it is. I'm stoked on this. I gotta start figuring out a better way to sell it than giving this quantity away for 50 bucks. Like, that is literally packed full of just this. And this. So many more throws. And this. Oh my god, look at my life in here, dude. Like, I just own so much nice stuff. It's crazy. Can't believe this, man. It's got to be like just thousands and tens of thousands. Like, what do you figure? Hundreds of thousands of dollars in merchandise just in here right now? Because there's still these two pallets that are packed full. I mean, retail value, obviously. Spent 2900 bucks on these pallets today, so. Oh god, I'm in one of these long spiely beelies now. I gotta keep hustling. I think these guys are gonna hit me back any second. I mean, I left them and then I went home and ate and then I've been back here. Actually, yeah, it hasn't really been that long because I've been here about 40 minutes. And it took me like 20 minutes to eat. So it's been about an hour and they were going about 45 minutes away. So I'm chilling, but it's still pretty early. It's like 8, 7.30, 8, 8.30, something like that, so... I've got, look at this, not only all night, but like, how do I tell somebody that's doing such a good job that they need to do like a better job? Like this tape's just not pretty, yo. <sighs> I just realized I wasn't recording that. I just opened this box. It was at the bottom of the pallet to check it out. And there's a bug on there, but check its like limbs or its legs or whatever. I don't know if it'll come up on the camera, but they are extremely long. What is that? That's so creepy. All right. Ugh. My alarm just went off. That's where I got to there. It doesn't look like much, but it's still like the equivalent of four or five totes. These are all the throws and sheets and whatever hopefully there's more bedding bedding does crazy around here um, queen size sheets like that'll probably sell for like 50 bucks on marketplace right away even if it's only like 65 on amazon but uh yeah i gotta go meet these guys for the rest of the furniture i'm going to give them a mixed a mystery box because this guy that bought it had messaged me a few weeks ago about a pallet and i told him i wasn't selling pallets at that time but now I wouldn't mind flipping them. So I'll give them a little sample. It's the whole, the whole setup. That's a rain head. Well, it's the whole setup as far as, yeah, everything you'd need for the rain head, including the valve, which is sweet. I mean, I do sell like shower tile and all that sort of stuff. So to keep drawer pulls actually behind these pallets against the wall where my pools are, I have a ton of, uh, or I mean like seven or eight faucets, kitchen faucets, bathroom faucets, just letting them kind of build up as I plow through these. Anyways, Jesus, I gotta go. All right, little update. This is what's left. So still quite a bit of stuff, but definitely fit in the van all on, on its own this time. 